Hello and welcome. My name is Nilo. So this is a new series of tutorials for the wonderful yet also wonderfully frustrating mod of C block. Let's get started. So I'm going to introduce the basics of the mod C block, and I am also going to introduce the setup for this series. So uh, with that uh, in check, let's get started. As you can see here, we are starting on a completely empty map and all we have as we're landing on Novus this time, we have a box of interesting things that I will immediately pick up. And that, or maybe not actually, that's what we have to get started on. Let me start by explaining the concept of, of this mod. So the mod is, as you can see, a new and interesting challenge. It takes Angels mods and Bob mods and just cranks it up to another level in terms of difficulty. The mod here is that it also focuses on two aspects of the mod that are rarely used, namely power, uh, power management, and or the sort of the electrical power management, and also bioprocessing. So with those, that in mind, let's get started on it. Now, I'll also explain sort of the method of it. The first thing, the very first trick is, of course, we start with a bit of bit of landfill to get us started. So that's um, what we're going to start doing. We've got to start making us some space. Now there's uh, another trick that is important to learn as playing this mod is that if you click correctly, that is. Well, OK, sometimes it doesn't work. And here you can save a lot of space. If you click uh, sufficiently out here, OK, let's just wrap this one up so we get a nice square. So I'll go one, two, and then if I click here, I'll only get that one in there. If I click here, see, I'm getting actually a lot of tiles for free. And considering a lot of this mod is about efficiency, then this is also, and this is fine. I mean, that's also just three, six to cover all this area. That's perfectly fine. There, yeah. yeah. And I'm not going to sit here and do all of this manually, but I'll just uh, through the magic of video editing, I'll be coming back once I have filled up the entire area here. And through the magic of video editing, we are back. This is about as big an island as you can make it. I made one little mistake here. Basically at the end, I was missing a single one that could plop down there. Anyway, that took a bit of time. It took about six, seven minutes to put it in. So. We now should talk about both the mod, what is unique and special about it, and also the series. Let's start with the series, the concept of it. I'll be making structured YouTube tutorials. This will be the first one. I expect maybe five of them in total, but they'll be reached gradually. The thing is that I looked on my own little YouTube channel and I saw that my Twitch stream with playing, uh, playing C block some time ago was actually quite popular, which is I don't really like that because it, it's very unstructured. It's very just, uh, I, I prefer having more structured YouTube content such as this. So I decided to revisit C block and make it more of a tutorial series. However, I can't make a tutorial series of this one without actually having a base. So I also figured, okay, then I need to spend like 20, 30 hours on building a base. And then I figured, you know what, how about I combine it? So every other episode, or I'll have these two tutorial episodes and then there'll be a, a Twitch one or not Twitch necessarily, but a streaming episode in between and uh, where I build up the base and then I'll go visit, revisit it. So this episode, I'll be focusing really on the basics, the concept of it. Now, the first thing is you'll notice I need some power. We will not have any trees, so that's also important. Let's start by building some power. We are fortuitous enough to actually get some some solar power as we land on this planet. So let's start utilizing that. 10. That's 10. And let's start. Okay, so that's the power part. The great thing is in the beginning, we don't have to care about power because power will be taken care of by this measure. I will also start, uh, and then we'll start working on actually what we need to build as part of this mod. And let's see, good. Let's, we are also lucky enough to have some of these. Hmm.
Okay, that's fine. Good. So now we have power. Okay, let's start. So we do not have any mines at all. That's the primary concern. We don't have any mines. So how do we make it? We take a look at the machines we have because luckily we have get some machines. The only way to create more iron than we have here is through the process is from getting it uh, from sapphire ore. So we're going to have to at some point get some sapphire ore and let's see that comes from a crystallizer. Let's put that crystallizer you know what? Let's actually start the other way. The only way we can get any kind of materials in this mod is from digging it out of the water. Obviously, it comes out of water. It should not come as much of a surprise. I think I'll just put it here. This one. Dirt, water, electrolysis, hydrogen. There's also later a matter of washing, but that's a, a, a different part of the Angels mods that we'll get to at a later stage. So we have some stone things here. And that is the only thing we have. These four, that's how we can generate it. So these are actually really important to fire up immediately because they're the only sorts I have of making any kind of, uh, of, of materials to build with. Everything will come from these materials, to, at least to begin with. And let's hook it up to our vast power supplies. Boom. We now have power. Cool. And these ones are working. You can see they're operating here. And that gives us our very first slag. Slag is what fuels the entire thing. Usually in Angels mods, we hate slag, but in this episode, we love it. So now we need to take a process that goes from slag and into mineral sludge to crystallized sapphire ore. That's the part. Now we have two of these machines. So let's take a look at them. So that's the only way for me to make sapphire ore. And I'm just starting with sapphire because that gives us iron and iron will be the primary concern here. So how do we make the mineral sludge that is coming in? Mineral sludge is made in, where are you? You are here, a filtration unit. I just need to figure out if I'm doing this correctly. That one, yes. You know what, I might as well just mark it there. Boom. So this one is actually taking, I'm gonna go oops, down here. I'm also having some other mods like squeak through so I can run more easily through pipes. I think that's quite important to have. This one generates some to free wastewater. It also, of course, needs power, but let's get to that in a bit. Nope, I guess not. Let's get to that immediately. Good, so now they have power. This is requiring a whole lot of things. It's important. Oh, I'm actually starting with filter frames here. We also need coal for the filtering, but let's, we'll, we'll come back to this one. We'll start with the primary thread. This one comes from slag slurry. Slag slurry is a product created. Can I actually just jam it in? Slag slurry here. This requires slag. We have that. Boom. And then sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is extremely difficult to get. And that's going to be our primary concern because at this point, if I can just shove my slag in here, I can work through it. Now, we also need to take a look at the waste product here, hydrogen and oxygen. There is this unique property here that you can take hydrogen and oxygen. You can actually combine it. Now they start working again because they are filling up these pipes. I hope I have enough pipes for everything. Good. Now this is hooked up and I can just grab a bit more. That is also just right click over, pick it up and can't really do much about it. Okay, so at this point I'm going to combine hydrogen and oxygen into maybe sort of like here, that would be nice, into purified water. Of course it's the other way around. I think it goes without saying that it's the other way around. It would always be the other way around. Let's see, how would I do this? I would because at this, what is important is I do not have any overflow valve, so I can't just um, overflow what I don't need. I need to make sure that I'm this. Got it. Hydrogen and oxygen. Great. This one. And now that one is working. Great. We now have hydrogen and oxygen, at least a tiny bit. That can then be brought in here. 
suspect I need to do something like this. Don't know yet. Okay, remember this one has to be for to fake waste water. Okay. So now we have one more thing. This is of course, and this is where it gets really dicey because this has tendency to to uh, jam. It will jam really fast because the ratios here means that there's too much oxygen. So we're gonna have to vent the oxygen through one of these. Except, but the problem is if I vent too much, then this one gets jammed. It's a it's an eternal conundrum. So we'll just uh, leave it as as that for now. Anyway. Now I need to figure out how am I going to make sulfuric acid. Now I have all of these materials. Let's look at the actual process for sulfuric acid and then work from there. We're going to build it here because that gives us a bit of space. Sulfuric acid, easy peasy. You know, I'll actually, uh, you know what? I'll actually build it something like this maybe. Hmm. Uh, don't quite like it. What I do like is this one. Boom. Water. What I do not like is that one. And this one will then make dioxide. And that means going in here. Oh, that actually works really nicely. So let's have a look. Now my problem is I need Sulfur. How do I make sulfur come in here? Hmm. Once I have sulfur, it'll go all the way through and become sulfuric acid. Go in here and everyone's happy. Let's just put a bit more in this one. Great. So I need sulfur. Well, sulfur is crea crafted only and exclusively by this process. We're going to start this somewhere else just to illustrate that it's kind of some... Oh. That's there. All right. This process is cleaning up wastewater, and that's the way to do it. So how do I make wastewater? Wastewater is actually generated by a process that I need anyway, over here. The process of so-called clean coke and sulfuric wastewater. I don't know how it's clean since it generates uh, sulfuric wastewater, but nevertheless, it is. Let's just summarize. It gets 50 in and 50 out, while this processing plant takes 50 in and 70 out. Let's grab this one a bit and take it over here. So here we need sulfuric wastewater coming in. That is something we are crafting from. Oh, I still have more of these. Great. I will do it from the clean coke. So clean coke will actually make coke, but also sulfuric wastewater. All it needs is clean water coming in. So again, we need the clean water. I think we'll just move the whole damn thing over here. Of course, it can't fit in there. That's typical. Ah, that's typical. I can't allow that. There we go. I'm just, uh, this is clearly not something. I know what I want to build, but I don't have like a predefined build that I is just completely tight on what to do. Okay, so what I have here is creating sulfuric wastewater and some sulfur. The sulfur has to go into that one. I'm gonna have to carry it for a bit. It's unfortunately just the way it is. Good. Okay, so now this is powered. This is getting water. It is not getting any crushed coal, but the crushed coal we can get by taking here, coal and crushing it. Moving back, the way to create coal, because coal is not something we dig out out of the dirt. It's something we have to really somehow craft from wooden bricks. It can be done in my single one here. And if I just put, oops. Oh, that's wooden bricks, of course. Wooden bricks are something I have to craft myself. It is very important also to note that there are some things in this that are different from how it usually is. For example, wooden bricks do not have a fuel value. Additionally, I think it's crushed coal does not have a fuel value. Coke has a fuel value 
and carbon has a fuel value. So this is something we need to keep in mind how this works. And let's just see here. Oh, that creates four bricks each. Uh, one, two, three, there we go. That should be enough. Let's put it in here. That'll give me all of the necessary coal that I need. Let's extract the coal, put it in here. That'll be crushed. And look, this is one of the key aspects. You're gonna be hand carrying a lot here between the different processes. So we are now producing coke. I'm gonna to have to pick up the coke and we're getting some. Now the next part is how am I going to do about this part? Because that of course needs to flow back into the system. But on the other hand, if I flow it back into the system, I am not sure it actually will work. The reason why is because this system is already congested. This is this system is jammed already, so moving more in, it's gonna be tough. That one over here is pretty good. It's something I can actually use. I can't use it for much right now, but I can at least just set up a consumer for it. Here, mineralized water. Okay, okay, I need some carbon. That's kind of an unforeseen thing. That's carbon. Boom. And I'll put some of these guys in. And right, so that'll just fill up here. And as soon as this one works, why is this not working? This is, oh, waiting for another hundred of those. And then I can take these guys. The coal comes in here and then becomes crushed. Crush goes in here and then it starts working. And I take it out here. And then I get some sulfur. The sulfur I put into this process. It makes it sulfur dioxide. Sulfur dioxide goes in here, makes sulfuric acid, goes in here, sulfuric acid goes into this one. Next problem, problem, challenge. I need filter frames, but I need coal filters. That means I actually need some genuine coal that comes from here. And then I can make the filter frames there. Great. This process we take and then we move, shift it basically one down here. Boom, got it. What about this one? Is it doing fine? Yeah, it's doing fine. I'm gonna unfortunately have to handcraft hand feed this and this one is doing fine oh this is important always pick it up because that's the the key issue here or the key part now what i can do as well is put this one and just shove in a lot of my slack so that will just chuck along because what i can do and what is really important is that i can make landfill here, out of 10 crushed stone. So it's not that expensive, and that might be something I want to do early on. Let's again take these guys and here, and I still have not completed that one. So the filter frames go in here, and then we have some materials. Got it. Got it. Perfect. And this one is now waste material, and why, oh, why did I not leave a room for it? Damn. Sun has crafted a bit. That's pretty good. Unfortunately, when I do this, I'm going to lose a lot of materials because I just need to shift it over by one. Actually, no, I don't. This one, what was it? It was Coke. And from here, I somehow have to find that one. Needs to get into this guy. And you will notice quite easily that this becomes a spaghetti hell. That gets empty. Empty, empty filter frames. Oh, look at that. Let's also see this guy here. Not quite there. And then in the beginning, there's so much to take care of in terms of just managing everything. Here, I will be crushing. Crushing it, putting it in here. And then I need the very first furnaces.
There. And now I can take materials out. Boom. Look at that. I am creating iron. And that's just basically, that is basically the whole process. It's very simple, isn't it? So we keep feeding, keep feeding. This guy, I can't really use that for anything yet. But it might not be so necessary because this one is producing us. And then it's just monitoring for blockades here and there. It could very well be a blockade here that get the copper. I do not have a crusher. I should probably get a crusher. That one I can't build yet. It's stone bricks. And okay, so then it basically becomes okay, you are running. Yes. You're just putting things in here. You're running. Get that in here. So that's sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is the blocker here. The sulfuric acid is feeding in here. Nice and slowly. It's keeping up. What is important, this ratio is keeping up. One, one, and two. These are working constantly. And just grabbing it, putting it into the crusher. Five plus the one that we had. Pick it up. Put it in here. And go. There we go. And that's look, we are making iron. So that's the very core of the idea to get started. You need to build a setup that enables you to produce iron. Because now I can just switch these to that one. Then I can produce uh, what's it called? It's called stereotype that produces copper instead. I can also start expanding way beyond this, but I can't really do anything until I have until I have more uh, iron. And that's why the whole thing is focused on iron. Keep the slack coming in. Keep building the island bigger. And once the island is big enough, this one, for example, is not going to run all the time. So that one can just be switched into crushing stone just to keep the ball rolling. And then basically just figure out what's going on to the various sources. There's some here. Just keep feeding. Keep checking wherever things are. There's some of that. I'm needing some coal in here. Let's handcraft some more. Remember, be careful about not running out because before that runs out, we're going to have to build the next part and that's putting up the algae farms. But that's a, a different matter. Anyway, so I hope that you are appreciating this little uh, tutorial. This tutorial might be a bit longer than a normal tutorial. If you are joining to see the next tutorial, be aware that the next, if you click next on, the, on YouTube, you might be taken to a stream. But in that case, just click onwards to the next tutorial session for more in-depth. Anyway, thank you very much for joining. I hope you like it. If you do, leave a like below or a subscription if you're not already subscribed to the channel. And of course, uh, recommendations are uh, always welcome. So thank you and see you next time. Bye.